what is going on YouTube today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can set up your own dual PC stream it's actually super simple all you really need is a gigabit Ethernet switch and a plugin for your OBS called NDI so this plugin actually allows you to stream your gameplay from your main gaming PC over a network using your network bandwidth to your streaming PC which is gonna be your laptop or your desktop and once you get it over to your laptop or desktop then you can allow that computer to do the encoding which is the processor intensive part of streaming so you can take all of that load off of your main gaming PC and get yourself those extra frames I'm gonna show you guys how we can do this and let's get on to the video and to use the NDI plugin you need to have the default version of OBS installed on your computer so you can get that here at obsproject.com if you google OBS it's the first thing that pops up you have to just pick your operating system download it once you have that installed you can move on to step two alright guys so once you have OBS installed on your computer you can move on to step two which is just going to be installing the NDI SDK so the SDK is actually the requirements for the plugin that are going to allow it to run on your network and on both computers so you have to install this before you install the actual plugin so to install this you just go to this article I'm going to include the link in the description below it's uh, Streamlabs OBS and NDI the download uh, link you have to click is right here it's under the section that says install new tech NDI SDK it's in the first line it's a little grayed out so it's not that easy to see but it's right here so you're gonna click that you wait for it to download my screen's gonna go black for a second but you you click yes then you're gonna click accept the agreement next next yes next next install so I actually have OBS open right now and running so it's not gonna uh, work for me but I already have this installed so you just guys just follow through with this installation and click finish and once you're done with this you're gonna wanna restart your computer so you're actually gonna wanna install this on both of your computers that you plan to be streaming off of and then restart them so once you've installed this restart your computer come back and you'll be ready for step three alright everybody so we're on to step three hopefully you've installed the SDK on both of your computers you restarted both of them and now you're ready on your main gaming computer to install the OBS NDI plugin. So the plugin is right here on the article. It says create NDI stream with OBS Studio. So that's what we're going to be doing. This is the link to click. It's actually covered by my cam. I'll move this really quick. So the link is right here. It's in the second line. It's the OBS Studio NDI plugin. So you're going to click this link. So once you've made it here to this versions page, you're just going to come in down here and you're going to find the OBS NDI Windows Installer.exe. So you're just going to click this, open it up. You're going to hit yes. My screen went black because it's asking me to install. Pick English. OK. Accept the agreement. Next. Install. So this is going to give me an error because I'm already running the OBS with this plugin. It's all installed. I'm actually using it to record this video right now. So this isn't going to work for me. But you guys just have to go through, click next, next, and finish the install. And once that's done, you're ready to set up your actual NDI stream and your output. So we're going to get on to setting that up next. Alright, so once you have the NDI SDK and the NDI plugin both installed on your computer, now you can go to your main gaming PC and you're going to want to configure your OBS settings. So this is my OBS, so you're going to come to the bottom uh, right of the pane and you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to video. And mine right now says video output is currently active. So once you set up your main output, which I'm going to show you how to do in a couple seconds, you can't change the settings so make sure you put your resolution and your FPS to whatever you want it to be mine's 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS so once you set this and you start the stream you can't change it without stopping the stream again so make sure you set this to what you want click OK then you're gonna to wanna to come up here and you're gonna to go to tools and NDI output settings if you don't have NDI output settings right here that means you did something wrong in one of the first steps so if this isn't here just repeat this first two steps and then try again so if this is here for you, you're going to click NDI output settings, check the main output, and then you're going to put a name here. Mine's gaming PC desktop, just so I know that my stream, this is the stream coming from my desktop, because I use a laptop as my streaming computer, so that's how I differentiate the two. So that's the name that I'm using. I'm going to hit OK, and now we're ready to send the stream over and receive it on the laptop. But first, we're going to talk about some hardware things that we need to put in place before any of this is possible. So we're going to get into how to set up the hardware aspects of this streaming setup. So really all you have to have is your Ethernet that comes out of the wall, which mine's right here. 
comes over under the rug, it goes up here and it gets plugged into this ethernet switch. So this ethernet switch is super cheap. I got mine for about 15 bucks on Amazon, but this is what allows us to send the video over our network with better quality. So if you're using Wi-Fi and you're having quality issues, this could be why. So this is my main connection right here. Then I have two others that come out. One of them goes to my desktop and the other one goes to my laptop. All right, so the screen you guys are currently looking at is actually my laptop screen. So once you have your laptop and your desktop both connected to the uh, ethernet switch, this is what's gonna allow you to be able to send the video and audio over. So now we can actually set up our Streamlabs to receive the stream that we're sending out using OBS from our desktop. So you come into your Streamlabs OBS here, you're gonna wanna click add a new source, and hold on, I actually have to move my camera for this. So you're gonna have to click add a new source. This is gonna be right here, NDI source on the bottom left. Add that, pops up. So once you have this screen, you're gonna click add new source. Then you're gonna to wanna to select the source name. This is what we named earlier when we selected our main, we selected main and we gave it a name. That's the name that you're looking for. So it's gaming PC, PC desktop, desktop for me. me. You, you click, click done. done. All right, so I muted the audio, so I shouldn't be doubling. Now, you guys are seeing my desktop screen. So I drag my camera on top. So this is my desktop screen right now. So I'm, I'm moving my mouse here. Now, I can hide that, and now you guys are seeing my laptop screen again. So this means that I'm successfully sending the video over the um, network, and I'm receiving it on my laptop, and now I can go live on my Streamlabs on my laptop, and that will do the encoding for me so I can get better frame rate in my games. All right, guys, so a common issue that people have with this is once they've set, done the last step where I tell you to set up the source, they'll have a black screen or their desktop isn't streaming over to their laptop. So if you're having this issue, I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So you'll just go down to your Windows search bar here, and you're going to type Windows Defender Firewall. So right here, you're going to click this, and then you're going to want to go to the top left right here, which says Allow an App or Feature Through Windows Defender Firewall. So here, you're going to get to this list. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Nope. So you're going to hit change settings, then you're going to scroll down until you find OBS. So for me it's right here, OBS 64. And you're going to want to make sure that this program is allowed on both public and private. You want it to be allowed on both of these. And if you have that allowed on both of them, then you should no longer be getting the black screen. You'll save your changes, exit out, restart your Streamlabs, maybe restart the OBS on your main computer, and then you should be able to get the stream over to your secondary streaming PC. Alright guys, so hopefully I was able to help you set up your dual PC stream. If I was, leave a like. If not, I'm going to be putting my Discord in the description if you need any further help. I'll be trying to answer people's questions in there. Having a dual PC stream helped me a ton because I was able to get the higher refresh rate in games like Counter-Strike and Fortnite. And I was able to get more kills and stuff like that on the stream. So, it absolutely helped me. Hopefully it can help you too. Thanks guys. Peace!